Okay, hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, got another one to, for you today where we're gonna be creating this um, side menu navigation bar here. Um, just using uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Um, the only change in this video, um, in this introduction compared to the video is I've just adjusted the font to uh, Google Fonts Quicksand. But other than that, um, this is what we're gonna be creating today. So I hope you enjoy it. Any questions, let me know below. Cheers. Okay guys, so to begin, I've just created the usual uh, project folder here called Navigation. Uh, we have our three usual files, so index.html, style CSS, app.js. We're going to index.html first. We'll just say HTML5 template. I'm using VS Code here. So we'll say in the title, home. And then in the head section, we'll link to the style.css. And then in the body, I'm going to link to the app.js with script source. And then I'm going to put a h1 in here as well, called home. So let's just open this with live server. Okay, great. So now if we go back into our HTML file, I'm just going to come under here. And the first thing we're going to do is create the hamburger uh, menu div. So say div, I'm going to give it a class of menu open. And in this div, we're going to say span. We want three span elements in here. So I'll duplicate that twice. Underneath this div, we're going to say add the navigation section. So nav. Uh, and in this navigation section, we're going to put another div with a class of menu close. And this is just going to contain two span elements. Okay, so staying within the div section, we're going to add another, well, we're going to add a UL. And in the UL, we'll put an LI for list item. And then we'll say anchor tag within the list item. It's not going to link it to anything for now. So we just put a hash, hashtag in the um, href section. I'll just say home. Get to duplicate this a few more times. And so this will just be our nav link. So we'll say for now about portfolio and contact obviously you can put whatever links you want for your website okay so this is our nav section up here that's all good so this is all we need to do for our HTML section so now moving on to the styling we'll open up our style.css I'll set the global parameters with a star and curly braces and we'll say margin no padding no box sizing all the box so that gets rid of all the um, padding and um, next thing we want to do I'm going to center that h1 so we'll say h1 text align center great and then after this we're going to create the hamburger menu uh, icon so the three little lines which will be displayed vertically in the top left of the screen here so I'm going to select this div we created called menu open so we'll say dot dot menu open I'm going to say position uh, fixed and we use we're using fixed because when we scroll down the page we don't want this menu to move we want it to stay in the top left of the screen okay and then we'll say top one rem left one rem and then I want to give this a width of 20 pixels so it's going to be a small hamburger menu height of 20 pixels just so you can see where it is we'll set the background to red for now but we all will change it later so we'll say background red and there it is it's going to be displayed there and then we want to do a cursor on there as well so cursor pointer so when we hover over that we get the pointer great um, next we want to so let me just remove that red Right, so next thing we want to do is style the actual lines or the span elements within that uh, menu open div. So we'll say dot menu open. Uh, we'll say span. And in here, we're going to say display flex. And we're using this just to display the lines vertically underneath each other as opposed to being in uh, one line. Uh, next, we're going to say um, width give this a width of 20 pixels, um, height of two pixels, 
and we say a background color of black like so as you can see our our span elements up here and then I'm gonna say margin top and that's gonna be three pixels okay so now you can see they're all spread out we've got a hamburger menu so that's pretty much that part done uh, we're gonna move on next to the actual navigation side menu so we'll select I'm just gonna come in here I'm gonna give this nav a class of nav actually Okay, so we'll say dot nav and we'll say position this is going to be fixed as well we'll say top naught left naught we'll be changing this later um, I want to give this a width of 40% so this will be 40% of the screen um, a height and we'll say 100 VH so that'll fill the screen vertically and also say a background color of white or whatever you want for your website um, <clears throat> also I want to uh, give this a border right of one pix one pixel solid we'll say black for now okay so there you go you can see when we move out our screen it changes with the screen to 40% of the screen okay so next um, I want to just move these nav links so we'll say underneath this dot nav ul I want this to be I want to set the position to absolute because that way we can position it relative to the actual side menu bar so position absolute we'll say top 50% uh, we want to transform translate that uh, Y sort of on the Y axis so vertically to minus 50% you can see that's dead center now um, and also just give this a width of 100% so it fills the the uh, side menu horizontal horizontally and then that way we can center the text the so text align we'll say center like so and there you go Okay, and then I want to spread these links out. So we're going to come underneath this again. Say so .nav ul li for the list elements. So we'll just say margin top. Uh, I'm just going to say two rem for now. You can see they're nicely spread out now. Um, and I also want to change the text decoration and color of these links. I just want them to be black with no underline. So we'll say dot .nav ul lia to select the anchor tag and then we'll just say color black and text decoration none and that removes the underlying okay so that's looking good next thing we want to do up here is just put our um our menu close like cross icon up here so in order to do that remember in our navigation section we had this little div here with menu close so let's do that now. So we'll say um, dot menu close. We're going to say position again absolute. Uh, we'll say top one rem. Left. Oh, sorry, right. I want it to be to the right. So up here in the top right. So we'll say right one rem as well. Um, and then what do I want to do here? I'm going to give this a width. 18 pixels and a height of 18 pixels so let's just back let's just see where it is for now make sure it's in the right place yeah that looks good okay and I also want to give this a cursor pointer as well right so now going underneath this next we need to do is style the actual span elements so we're going to say um, dot menu close span and here we're going to say um, display flex again um, and then we want a, a width and that's going to be 20 pixels and we're going to say a height again of two pixels. 
say a background color of black. Okay, that's great. And then what we need to do now is we need to move these actual span elements to form the shape of a cross or a style of a cross. So in order to do that, we're going to say dot menu close, and then we're going to uh, select um, each individual span element by using the nth child um, CSS method. So we'll select the first child to so the first span element. And in here, we're going to say position absolute again. Uh, we'll say left minus two pixels and we'll say top seven pixels and then we need to transform this rotate and this needs to be 45 deg for degrees okay and you can see our first span element is formed a diagonal line there okay so we're going to do a similar thing for the second span element so I'll select the nth child two, and then in this case, it all remains the same except we change this one to 135 degrees. You can see now we have a nice little cross up here. I'm gonna remove this red background again. Okay, so that's pretty much, um, that's looking all right. So now, <clears throat> I think we can add some JavaScript to this. So. Um, the first thing I also want to do prior to doing anything else is I'm going to copy this nav uh, section here and we're going to say dot active after because what happens is we're going to use JavaScript to apply an active class to this side menu so when it's active it'll be visible on the screen but when it's not active and uh, when it's just a nav element we're going to say left and set the left up here to minus 40% so it's hidden like so okay so when we press this button this this toggle up here the hamburger menu it will apply the active class to the nav bar and then we'll be able to see it on the screen so let's open up our JavaScript page now okay so now first we need to do is our selectors so we'll say um, const menu open equals document dot query selector and obviously the menu open had a class of just menu open so we'll say dot menu open like so and then we'll say const menu close equals document dot query selector and this is going to be um, dot menu close for the cross we just created in the nav bar. Menu close. And also we need to select the actual uh, side menu navigation itself. So we'll say const uh, navigate or just nav equals document dot query selector. And we'll just say for now dot nav like so. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do here, we're going to say um, menu open dot add event listener, and this is going to listen out for a click, and then this is going to uh, trigger a function. We're going to create a function called menu tog for toggle. Okay, and we can also do the same thing for the. Um, the close, menu close. So we'll say menu close that add event listener. Right, so let's create this function down here. So we'll say um, function menu tog, and that's gonna take in an event, which is the click in this case. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna say nav dot class list dot toggle, and we're gonna say active. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So obviously when we press this, it will apply the active class to our navigation bar, which as you can see here, when we say dot active, it makes the left naught, so it should appear on our screen. So if we try that out, you can see it works. And then if we close, it should toggle the active class off again. So when we press that, it goes back again. Now, 
I want to add actually a transition effect here to make it come out smoothly. So we'll say um, transition. And for now, I'll just say 0 0.5 sex. And I'll put that in the active part as well, like so. So now you can see when we press it, we get a nice smooth slide out. Okay, so that's good. Now also, when we press a link, I also want this to occur for our, our links as well. So what we need to do here is we're gonna say, go back to our JavaScript. We need to create a new selector up here. So we'll say const um, nav link equals document dot query selector all because there's multiple nav links. And for now, we'll just say, uh, what was, did we give these a class? I don't think we did actually. Nice, let's give these a class now as well. I'll just say class nav link. I'll do that for all of our links. So I'll copy that, paste, paste. <clears throat> okay. So now if we say query selector all um, dot nav link. Oh. Right. And now what we can do here we come below this I'm just going to say um, nav link dot for each <clears throat> and then if we just say men top I oh, know sorry um, Sorry, bear with me a second, guys. So what we need to do here is say, when we do the for each method, we're gonna take in each link. So we'll say link, um, and then we'll say, do an arrow function here. And we're gonna say, um, uh, so link dot add event listener. And again, we're gonna say click, and then we're gonna trigger that to set the function of mentog as well. Okay, now that should work. So if we press a link, yeah, we can see now when we press on the link, our menu goes away. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just add a bit more style into this as well. So if I go back here, just wanna put a bit of box shadow on our nav bar. So we'll say nav, box shadow and I'll just say two pixels, two pixels, two pixels to give it that nice blur. I'll say black and also just want to make this a bit more transparent. So we'll say like like so. If I copy this to the nav active as well. Okay so now you can see we've got a nice little bit of box shadow on there. Let's make that a bit bigger actually. And there you go. So we've got a nice professional looking nav bar on our side menu. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this lesson, uh, this tutorial. And um, yeah, any questions, comments, please uh, either send me a message or leave a comment below. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.